Hey folks, here is the Desmos method for factoring trinomials. So we're going to get started with that. And as I said before, there is work involved even when you're using Desmos. So we're going to start with this one. So I want you to write down 6x squared. Bring up my keyboard properly. 6x squared plus 7mx minus 3. And so we have that come up and we get to see that. Now I picked this one because it's going to be a little bit challenging on things. So I don't want you to really be worrying about the parabola first. I do want to go on this side to show you what the steps are. Step one, as always, is you must find the GCF for the trinomial. That doesn't change. And when I look for the GCF for this one, it's one. Okay, so the GCF here is one. So I don't need to do anything extra with that. Next to find your solutions and we've talked about this already hopefully you know that those are your x-intercepts right. so I'm going to move this back and actually put comma at that GCF equals 1 and my solutions in here so x equals the set of, let's click on this one, is negative 1.5 and also 0.33. Now, one of the things, repeating, one of the things I want you to know about this, and if you're going to use the Desmos, Desmos method, sorry, you are going to have to be proficient in handling fractions it is going to be critical that you're able to do that. So just want to let you know, you need to be able to do that. So this ends up being 0.3333 repeating, which is actually one third. So I'll just do this right now, but I'm going to rewrite that as negative 1.5. Well, that's negative 3 halves in 0 0.33 repeating is one third. We're going to see why that's important, important in a little bit. All right, so that's finding my solutions and then changing them into fractions. Well, one of the great things about finding the solutions is now I can write this expression and the way you write the expression is that you reverse the signs of your solutions. So what does that mean? All right, so write the trinomial expression like a type by reversing the signs of your solutions. Okay, what does that look like? Well, x reverse the sign of 3 halves. Well, that becomes positive 3 halves. And what happens with the one third? It becomes x minus one third. So that actually is your quote unquote your factoring out of your trinomial. So you've actually factored it, but it's as a fraction. And so we can't leave it that way. So then here is where you have to, this is where knowing your fractions is important. Take your factored solution, whoops, solution, and make all of your constants and coefficients integers. 
So this is where, again, you really got to know how to use your fractions. So I need to get rid of the denominator for x plus 3 halves. Well, how do I do that? Well, that's relatively easy. If I multiply by 2 for x plus 3 halves, okay, I will be able to get rid of the halves, and I will not change it. And then for the other one, I need to get rid of the third, so I multiply by 3 for x minus 1 third. So what does that end up giving me? Well, over here, that will then become 2x plus 3, and the one on the bottom will become 3x minus 1. When you do the math, you use the distributive property to find that out. Now I have it where my factored solution is all in integers. So my answer is 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. But as with always, just like we have to always find the GCF, we have to always verify or die. So I need to verify this to make sure that it's correct. So what I do is put my factored answer into Desmos. So let's see if I get the same parabola when I put this in. 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. Ta-da! And you see that the blue is right on top of the red. So it is the exact same thing. So I have verified that my answer is 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. Again, there's don't do this if you're not comfortable with fractions, but if you're comfortable with fractions and you're comfortable making sure you get rid of the denominator and take the fraction to become an integer, this is actually my favorite way to do things. All right, enjoy your rest of your day.